I don't want to throw up on me, so I'm just trying to... You'd actually vomited a couple of times? At time. home, yeah. yeah, and then in the car on the way here. I'm just going to get you to some of the light in here. Yep, that'd be great. Is that a bit better? Yep, thank you. Is the pain in your entire head? Um, it started out at the front of my head, Yeah. but now it's from like about here. To the front, so yeah. it's front is mostly the pain. Yeah, and did the nausea come straight away, or is that developed recently? Um, uh, look, at first it was just a headache, and then I had like the light was a bit funny, and then I got nauseous. Yeah, but I was nauseous at about noon, and I didn't throw up till about three thirty. Okay. And then that, I thought that might make me feel better, but it, the action of being sick made my headache yeah explode. Right, let's have a look. You've got a lot of swelling here. Got a big patch of edema there. And we've got this massive patch of fluid down here as well. I haven't taken anything. I'm going to throw it up anyway, so... See that there? Mm -hmm. you know, I just cannot get any relief from like dark or light or pressure or no pressure. Right. It just everything's bad. And now it's up there. So it's in the base of your skull and also in the forehead? Yep. And what about in your eyes and face? Um, not really my face, m mostly here. I'm just going really slowly That's here, Barbara, because cool. when you're like this, any quick movements it can trigger you to throw up again. You want to turn your head, are you feeling it in there? Yeah, I can feel it there. Okay. You've got problems in more than one place. Okay. So what I've got to try and do is figure out which area of nerve irritation is causing most of these symptoms. In reality, we're not actually treating you for this headache, but it still makes sense to go for the level of the spine, which is most likely causing this type of pain. What does that feel like there? Um, that's making the top of my head hurt. Yeah. And, what about and that was sore, yeah, it's sore in there. That's actually just like the location is sore. Yeah. What about there? Um, yeah, that's... That's sore enough for me to feel a little bit sick. Yeah. Well, this, this one here, mm. this is the top part of your thoracic spine, and this is, a, this is the one that I think is really setting you off. It's the one there. You alright? You all right? Yep. If you can, try and just stay seated in the chair. You don't sort of jump forward. Good girl. All through my arm. That was good. Yep, that was all. I can feel it. Yeah. That's causing a lot of nerve pressure. Oh my god. That's where that nerve goes, straight down your arm. Just try and relax, mate. That's better, though. Yeah. Alright, that feels a bit better straight away there. You got a little bit of colour back already. <laughs> I feel warm. That's good. I'm going to leave you alone for a minute, okay? Okay. I want to get some ice and put it there. Oh, yeah. It feels terrible. I don't want you to worry that you just threw up because it's quite common and you get that pressure off to um, throw up like that. Did that shoot into your head again like it did before when you were sick? Um, a little bit, but not nearly as bad. Good. It's now sort of m more just here, where last time it was... In the back, that's yeah. great. So we've got a bit of pressure off already. This is all better, isn't it, this arm? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, you had a lot of nerve compression there. It probably felt like I moved that bone a mile. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's only a few millimetres. It's just a very short, specific correction. But it's enough to get a lot of pressure off the nerves in one hit. That's why you felt it come down here. When you feel like you're up to it, keep this ice on. Okay. And I want you to just walk up and down the hall a couple of times. Okay. You've got a little bit of colour back, so that's a good yeah, sign. Yeah, I feel better. I just feel... I think I feel the after effects of being sick too. So yeah, for sure. Just have a little wander out there. I did an adjustment there for and stuff. I feel a lot better. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Hold my head a little bit better. That looks better, Bob, already. Yeah, it feels better. I just I'm a little bit nauseous still, but my the pain is not nearly Great. what it was.
See ya. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, so like half the headache's gone, or just like a little bit, nothing. <laughs> so I slept and everything. Oh, so you slept on, oh, it's only been 15 hours or something. Yeah. That's good. Um, did, could you drive yourself in? Yep, drive myself in. Awesome. Come yep. in. Let's have a look. Thank you. When I first got home, I thought I was going to be sick again, and then I was a bit careful, and about 9 o'clock last night, um, I didn't bought a chicken for the kids, and I kept it down, and then I went to sleep, so it all That's sort good. of worked out. Oh, that's a great result. Well, they're all good signs, Barbara. Like, you've, the fact that you've, you've slept all night, you've been able to drive yourself in, you've been able to eat. Just the fact that you can get up in the daylight and walk around and we've got normal lights on here now yeah. and you were kind of a bit brave for the camera too yesterday. <laughs> Before that camera came on, you looked <laughs> even worse. <laughs> that needle's just swinging by now. They're just normal heat, skin readings, they're nothing to do with nerve irritation or blood supply. And there's no abnormal swing on that needle at all through there. There's nowhere near as much fluid under that skin. Yesterday that was bringing the headache back into your head when I moved that. Yes it was. Um, it's not doing that now? No, that's good. Well that's still healing, Barbara. That, okay. Yeah, that looks really good in there. Another, well probably just the rest of today. Okay. And you'll be, you know, back to your old self. Right. Yeah, you'll be able to smile again. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, thank you so much for coming. I do this and ride around the ground. And then yeah. what happened? And then what happened? I bumped my chin. And then you bumped your chin. So we went straight down like that, mouth full of blood, hysterical screaming. He's got a very, very high pain threshold, but obviously not this time. Straight down. He pretty much swelled up straight away on his right side and then we went to emergency. So they took this film in the hospital? At the hospital, in, in the emergency department. And that did my chin and that's what takes. You know everything, don't you? He does. He does. But uh, um, I was just concerned. Hop up. Um, with the alignment of his jaw, he was very sore up here. Yeah. His for the first maybe 36 hours he was barely opening his mouth to chew anything yeah and was saying it was sore Don't when you touched in there like that good boy the and swelling's come down it? considerably oh, close it again good boy you go all right then again right side that's not working and has he been well since or has he been unwell he was miserable Sookie barely ate, and yeah, as the yeah, days have progressed, he's gotten better. Because he looks, he doesn't look bad. Like he, no. Um, sometimes when these kids upset something like that, they'll look quite ill. But he yeah. doesn't look ill. Hands up, buddy. You show Georgie your chin into the ah, Lucky you're so brave. I think he still looks a bit puffy and a bit pale. Oh, he is. Like he's definitely puffy in the face and his chin swollen yep. and he's even got a little bit of swelling up here in the yeah. cheeks on both sides but um, quite often when kids fall like this within a couple of days they'll develop like a lot of congestion in their sinuses or they've got okay. ear, ear trouble going on. Or well he did say yesterday he had a sore head. Yeah. Too. Well his jaw's not functioning properly. Come here Sonny. I'm going to put my finger in your ear. Open. <laughs> Open. Okay, go. Uh -uh. And close. Think about eating your ice pole. Yeah, this is the one. Alright. Okay. Open up again. Uh, That's it. That's it, little fella. Ah. Uh, I can't move it. Oh, I know. Do you know what? I know it might have been a bit anxious about it but it's you know it's going to make you so much better yeah. you can go on the plane to Bali. Did, did that hurt or did, did um, that hurt? give you a fright? Did, did it hurt or it give you a scare? Just <laughs> scared. Just scared. Yeah. That's okay. That's what we saw. Yeah. I'll see if that sticker fairies down there. Oh. <gasps> you can it. that. Can you smell it? <laughs> yum yum. Oh, oh here we go. Because <laughs> before when I was getting him to open his mouth the right side was just lagging behind. Nice. Can you open your mouth now? I want to see how wide you open. <laughs> that was 
so scary. Okay. I think we fixed you. <laughs> oh, Samuel, too good, mate. What's happening? I don't know. It's, I think it's not the rest again. You can't breathe? No. Nah. Not when I put it oh, on yeah, your down like that. Or turn it. So if you put oh. your head down or turn. Oh, like that. It just shoots into your chest. Yeah, why would it into the back? To your back. You know, it just takes your breath away. Yeah. Okay. You know, like when I first came here? Yeah. What like yeah. that? Yeah. It hasn't been like that for ages. No. You can see it in your breath. You're struggling. Oh, to... it's, it's killing me. Have you noticed anything else like indigestion or bloating or, um, uh, you know, changing your heart rhythm or anything like that? Get any palpitations or funny heartbeats? No. Good. So you're just getting this really sharp pain in here. Yeah. And like it's someone stopped. stabbing me with a knife. Right into my spine. And it's stopping you from getting your air. Yeah. Okay, we've checked Sam out thoroughly and this is where his subluxation is here at T8. You can see a little bit above the spine kicks off straight. This is where the nerve pressure is here. Yeah, that's it. I can see. There's a lot of swelling in there too. There's a lot of hurt in there. <laughs> This is what a subluxation looks like sometimes from the outside. And you've got this big massive bulge of fluid and then the spine goes back to normal again. So in there, you just got this masses of water just sort of floating underneath the skin there. It kind of takes up from that space to that space. And it spills out around there and it spills out around there. So it's quite a nasty thing. He doesn't look like he's in such bad trouble because his body's found a way to get the pressure off the nerve itself but if I got him to drop his shoulders or if I straighten him up he'd just about hit the floor I reckon. So if I just put a bit of pressure on this vertebra see how he wants to run away from me that's just the smallest amount of pressure there. <laughs> and that side's real bad. Uh... See like that what I'm doing there Sam is this much pressure. Yeah I... no doubt. <laughs> All right, buddy, we can fix this up on this table. Come on. All right, you can see this is all, see how rock hard these muscles are here? He's just got these two big channels of massively guarded muscles like they just won't let go at all. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. <coughs> Compare that to that there. Oh. Yeah, that one. Okay. That one's the worst one. Compare that to that there. They're all as bad as each they're other. They're pretty all, they're all good friends, I think. <laughs> oh, shit. That's pretty crook in there too, isn't it? Oh. That's the one that I decided in the chair is your problem. Oh, shit, again. Does that go right through your chest, mate? Yeah, that's like... Yeah, that, that's the nerve oh. pressure there. All right, buddy. Because of the, how guarded these muscles are, I'm going to use a different contact to what I would normally use for this. I've got to get over this massive, look at that, it's like a big valley of tissue there. Alright, this is not going to be easy for you, mate. But I'll make it as gentle as I can. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, like this is within seconds. Can you see that that dip getting less? Mm. It's like a totally relaxed. See this muscle's letting go? He, he hasn't got that, before I could grab a chunk of muscle. Now it's obviously there because we've all got these erector spinae muscles, but it's not sitting up like it was. Obviously there's still all this fluid there because, you know, that can't go away in five minutes. But these muscles are starting to let go. See how that's got some, it's got some softness in it now? That was just rock hard before. I'm going to stand you up, Sam. See how that feels, mate. Good already, I know. That's great. Yeah, feel a difference? Oh, yeah. That's instant. Like stand up straight. Four hours like this. Oh, 
Get some air in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, see, I like that. That's awesome, great. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're not ready for the scrap heap yet. No, not while you're around, I'm not. <laughs> I'm cactus when you're My, gone. Um, foot's slipped on, on some wet paint on the floor, and my knee's gone gone that way. And, and I heard it pop out and getting pain right up through my thigh into the hip. To get, come down to my room. <laughs> well, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. You've been like that before, haven't you? Yeah. If I make you just put your knee in straight like that, does that start to ache yeah. a bit? Yeah. 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 Alright. You've done a good job on that. Um, we'll get a picture of it. Alright, come in, mate. Thanks, Ian. Oh, no worries. How are you, anyway? <laughs> better than you. What you can see here is that there's a wider gap between those two bones on your left leg than there is yeah. on your right leg. Okay. So that tells us something. And there's a little bit of wedging in this disc here. And you can tell there's actual torsion in this actual bone So here. it's twisted. Yeah, and it's also kind of shifting across a little bit as well. So these cartilages that reside in here yeah. and here they just can't move properly yeah and so what we need to do is basically return the correct biomechanics to the knee joint in the injury you've most likely really upset this medial meniscus yeah. Yeah. and you may have even split it a little bit yeah. but um, what we find is that if we can get the joint in the right uh, position early and we can return the biomechanics even if there is a little tear in there they can heal up yeah yeah. Yeah. Great. I just want to see how much we can extend that leg. That's pretty much it, isn't it? If we can untrap that meniscus, uh, we should be able to extend that leg a lot better. In fact, it'll take a little bit of time. It might take us say ten or twenty minutes and yeah. a couple of corrections, but we should get you so that you can put a lot more weight on that even today. Great. Thanks. Ian. Come up here, mate. Just stand up there, mate. Yeah, I'll take an easy way on that for you. <laughs> See so yeah, how this one has got this type of alignment and the calcaneus is sitting straight up to the roof and this foot is shooting off on this major angle. You can you can actually see that torsion in the tibia where it's twisted underneath the femur. It's got to kind of work this cartilage a little bit to enable me to actually get your leg to bend. Because at the moment it's just locked, isn't it? Yeah. Because I've separated the tendons with my finger and I've moved into the back of the knee joint capsule onto the back part of the actual meniscus there and I've put the the tibia into a neutral position and I'm, I'm kind of levering it this way a little bit to open up the joint space and if we can just get the cartilage to start to shift a bit see there see how we can bring his leg up you see that so that went from locked to being able to put it in the right spot so now what I'm going to do is keep a bit of pressure where I am but move across onto the back of the tibia, the lateral part of the tibia. You might get a bit of a fright here, Paul, but don't be worried, okay, mate? Put a bit of weight on him there, Rob. Let's see. Just let your tummy muscles relax there, Paul. There you go. Good. It'd be good to show people real time what this looks like. Just slightly lower that pull. You'll be able to see. Yeah. You'll be able to see that straight away. You've you got a little bit of torsion in that still, which you'd expect, but just straight off, you can see that lines up. Just slowly take the weight on your feet. Now, if, if I'm right, that yeah, should feel a lot better. A lot better already. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's much better. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> it's better by the minute. Isn't yeah, it? it's still been less than a minute since that adjustment. He can get his whole foot flat and he can get his weight over. Yeah, yeah no, it's so much. You couldn't do that at all, could you? No, I couldn't have straight. Let alone put weight on it. Yeah, no, that's good. That feels much better. God, that's such a relief. You up for another one, mate? Yeah. <laughs> we can make I'm getting, it. A, I'm getting um, just getting pain up through my hip, but I don't know if that's... Well, that was the pain you were telling me about before. Yeah. And the reason is because we... Oh, you couldn't see it, but we showed everybody else how the tibia was completely torsioned underneath right. your femur. Okay. 
And so your femur's trying to compensate and the hip joint capsules would have just been working so hard. Oh, right, okay. I mean, that, that's a pretty good result. We could just leave it at that and can't get him back tomorrow. But I'm pretty confident that if we shift this tibia in a slightly different way, um, it'll go from strength to strength. There's no way we could have done this one first because for this to work well, you need to be able to get extension in the leg. There's no way he would have been able to extend the leg enough before. This one might be a little bit uncomfortable, Paul, but don't worry if it is. There you go, beautiful. All right, mate, now stand up more. That'll be much better. No, awesome. no, thank you once no again, and thanks for staying late. Yeah, we can. Famous, famous again. <laughs>